Hello and welcome to part three of uh, the tutorial for Sung Ha Jung's Someone Like You. Um, so far we've learned intro and the first half of the verse. The second half of the verse um, is very similar to the first half, but I'll show you the differences now. So, first time we played the verse, we played this. <laughs> This second shape is slightly different on the second half of the verse, so we play it like this. Okay, so there's just two notes that are different there. Okay, so on this shape, third fret on the second string, second fret on the third string, second fret on the sixth string, we play okay, six, four, three, four. Instead of doing the six and two, okay, you do six and one this time. Okay. I like to use my little finger for the first string, although a lot of people don't like to use the little finger, but I, I do believe it's uh, in the long run it's best if you do practice with your little finger because it gives you extra um, options when it comes to being able to play. You could um, uh, you know, re reassign your fingers and bring your fingers down and play it with like the ring finger or whatever, but it seems like a lot of bother for me, whereas what you've got to do is just practice basically. Okay, again, 6-1, 4-3-2. Instead of doing a 6 and 2, 4, 3, and 2 open, which we did the first time. Okay, this time we're doing 6 and 1, 4, 3, and 2, um, fretted on the 3rd, okay, we don't lift off and play that open, so it's 6, 1, okay, and everything else is the same. Uh, 6, 4, 3, 4, which we played earlier, and then 6 and 3, pull off, 4, 3, okay? 6, 4, 3, 4, 6, 3, pull off, 4, 3. We did all that earlier, okay? So this time it's instead of, okay? So how that sounds all together. Like I said, the G was the same. And then to the E minor, which is the same. Now we change what we do on the C here, um, slightly. So what we do, we fret the third fret on the fifth, second fret on the fourth. And this time we play in five and two, hammering it to the first fret on the second string. Okay, and then four three, and then five and two again, but open on the two, so you lift off. Okay, and then four three again, but this time we fret the second fret on the third, and play like that. And then after which we lift off again and play five and three. Okay. So we've got Okay, now the way I like to play this with my fingers to make it easier um, is if I use my thumb for the 5 and 4 and just alternate and either use my index finger for both 2nd and 3rd string or use my index and uh, middle finger for 2nd and 3rd string. Okay, so I'll show you how that works. With the uh, pinch on 5 and 2, if you use your, if you're just using your index finger it's probably easier to do this if you're um, a beginner uh, to finger picking. Just use your index finger. If you're more advanced then you'd be using two fingers. Okay. So pinch five and two and hammer on. Okay, and then four, three. Okay, we're just using thumb and index finger. Okay, and then thumb and then index finger again. And then thumb and then index finger. And then thumb and then index finger. Okay, so 
okay when we're doing. Okay, it's a lot easier just to play um, alternate thumb index thumb index on that section. And then the last pinch on uh, three and five, rather than play it like we were assigned earlier where we had um, a finger for each string. Okay, that way we're using four fingers and it, it can get complicated if your brain isn't um, wired into to play it that way. Yeah, okay, like I said, it's easier to play with just the two fingers, just on this section. So coming out of that E minor, Hope you understood that and I hope that helped um, because I'm because what I'm hoping is that as this song progresses it gets gradually harder I'm hoping to give you a little insight into how I'm thinking about using my fingers and the easiest way to do it the best way for you to learn is for not for me to just show you what strings to play but also show you how to play them as well and I, I hope that helps because I know it, it makes the video longer and it stretches out a bit bit further but I do believe that more it'll help more of you in the long run, which is what ultimately um, is the better thing to happen. Okay, enough of speeches. So, after that part, after the pinch on three and five, we play five four and then pinch five four. And then play five and then four again. Okay, so that was. Okay, and if we speed that up, if we add in the previous pinch on the five and four just to have the timing. Okay. That's a pretty easy section. So if you put what, we, what I've taught you there together. So what we've learned so far in this lesson is the second half of the verse, which goes like this. Mm -hmm. 